Uh, this tutorial is going to be uh, basically taking a bunch of things I've gone over in the past and putting them into one script. Uh, this is going to take me a while to do and explain, uh, so this may be broken up into more than one video. Uh, but let's just get started, and as I said, if uh, something I don't explain in depth, it's because I've done it in a tutorial before, I just looked through my previous tutorials. But we're going to be going to marvel.wikia.com, and here, if you click on characters, you can search through every Marvel character that's ever existed. Uh, we can hit S here and go to the S's, and you'll notice that um, it shows 200 characters, and there's so many Marvel characters that we don't even get to Spider-Man in this first section of 200, uh, the 200 block. So let's look up at our address bar here, and we can quickly see that it's using a get form submission. So we can easily modify the variables just by changing this address up here. And if you see, it says that we're doing a category character search, and we're starting from S. But if we put S P I and hit enter, you'll see that now displays 200 characters, but starting at S P I, and the first one is. Spider Demon, then Spider Girl, then Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, because there's different variations. So we're going to start with the command line, and the first thing we're going to do is just get a list of characters based on a search we will do. So let's highlight and copy this address and go to our command line. Uh, and I'm going to be using links to do all my uh, grabbing of web information and uh, links may not be installed on your system by default. If not, it's in the repositories for sure, just aptitude or apt-get to install it or use whatever package manager you prefer. And we're just going to dump the information. So it's just going to dump the information from the web page there. We'll put the address here in parentheses and we'll hit enter and you'll see that it dumps all the information from the web page including links automatically puts all the uh, URLs to links at the bottom of the page. So let's see, and since all our characters are links, that's what we're looking for. So as we can see, the uh, all the links start with HTTP, obviously. So let's search through that and grab all lines that contain HTTP. Now, um, we could use grep, which is what I would normally have used in the past, but I'm going to use awk in this case because we're going to search for no multiple things and, and format it using awk, so it, uh, using awk will prevent us from calling more system commands than we need. So if I just do awk and then forward slash HTTP, and actually let's put these in single quotes, uh, and I'll hit enter, you'll see that it eliminated everything up above all these links. There's a lot of links on these page. So um, now what we can do is narrow it down even more by doing end, and we have to do that within the single quotes, single, yeah, single quotes. We're going to search for SPI. So it will search through lines that contain HTTP and lines that contain SPI, which will narrow down our list quite a bit. So let's hit enter there, and you can see that it narrowed down our list quite a bit. Uh, we have maybe 25 or 30 lines. Actually, let's WC that to find out. 47. So we have 47 options here. But you're seeing we're also getting some like index PHP category title, which is actually searching, moving the search on. Uh, so we're going to uh, remove those as well. Let's add a little bit to our search here. We're going to say end exclamation mark forward slash index forward slash and that means find lines the that, that don't contain index so you'll see this line right here disappear there we go so now you can see we have a handful probably about 45 or so uh, characters already spike spirit amazing spider-man spider-man spider skeleton so we're narrowing down our list pretty good now let's pipe this into another awk and we're going to do print dollar sign two and that means print the second column that's going to remove these numbers at the beginning of the line here and those numbers are just numbering what link that is on the page so we'll hit enter 
but boom, our, our links have now been uh, trimmed away. So we have the full links to our character information and we have our character names, which are here at the end. Now, you'll also notice that it's uh, finding other links here, uh, which are basically JPEG files. So we don't want those. So let's remove those as well. So we'll do another search here. We'll add it right here. We'll say end exclamation point and then inside our forward slashes JPEG and then close our single quote, which I need to remove that one there. So now when we hit enter, it won't display those images, um, which is exactly what we want. So we've narrowed down the list and we found exactly what we want based on our search. Only characters with SPI in their name. Uh, so let's get to moving on and we'll move this into an actual script and we'll start writing out our code. So we'll just highlight this and I will open up Vim and I will create a file called Marvel search.sh. I'll start off with our shebang line saying that this is a bash script. Paste in that line we've already created. Looking good. Um, but we can shorten that up some. Now that we're inside our script, we can create some variables. So let's just create a variable called URL. And we'll set it equal to the first part of our URL here. So there we go. Now we can replace this portion of our code with dollar sign URL. And we'll put that inside squiggly brackets as we've gone over, or braces as some people call them. And that's just because we want to define where the variable starts and where our string begins. So next part is we're going to be using this section a lot. So let's take that and create a variable. We'll call this our search underscore URL variable. We'll paste in that information there. And we'll replace this section with the variable. And this will just definitely make our code quite a bit easier to read because we're shortening up these lines. And once again, I'll put those inside braces. OK. We're moving quite along, quite along, moving along quietly, whatever. Uh, so right now, we'll save this. And we will run it. Let's change the and make it executable. So change mod plus x to make our script executable, then the name of our script. Only have to do that once. Now it has permission to run. We can dot slash our file. We'll hit enter and boom, it brings up our list of characters here. So let's go back in and look at our code real quick. We're doing good so far. Let's um, move this, and I just realized I have an extra equal sign there, which may explain why our list was so short. Let's run this again. There we go. Now we got our full list. That threw me off a little bit, and I was going to try to bluff through it, but I figured it out. Okay, so we got our code. Our code is working. Now let's get some user input uh, so we can grab information from a user. So instead of just searching for SPI every time, we can search what the user wants. So we'll just ask the user a question. We'll say echo, please enter the first few letters of your search. And then we'll say read and we'll say Q for query. So we're creating a variable called query or called Q, which is our query. And uh, Let's also add up at the uh, top here. I like to always clear the screen when I start a script so everything looks nice and clean. Uh, and let's replace this SPI with our variable Q. And we'll do the same right here, which we actually may run into a problem with that. Let's see. Let's run it and see what happens. Might have to change our single quotes, double quotes there. Um, so we'll run our script. 
Now it asks for something and I'll just type in SPI and nothing came up and that is probably exactly because of what I just said. Let's change these to double quotes because that was basically the single quotes are making our variable right here not a variable but actually a string. I've gone over that in the past. So we'll hit this, SPI, boom, it brings up our search. Okay, so I am running a little low on time. I will continue this tutorial in the next video. Keep on watching and basically by the end we are going to be able to search through each character. Uh, after you search you find your character, it gives you a list of characters, you pick the character from the list it will bring up all the information on that character and display any photos or images, drawings from the marvelwikia.com site. Uh, so stay tuned. We're getting there. Keep on watching. Have a great day. And please visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.